Hello, welcome to Grow New Plants. Today I'm going to do the front end wall on the greenhouse. This is going to be the end that's going to have the door for entry into the greenhouse. We've got a bunch of lumber. I've got a storm door with a screen that I can use for ventilation that I'm going to use for the entry. And then I got all the hardware and everything I need. Hopefully I have everything I need. We'll find out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the storm door and find out exactly how big I need to make the framing for the storm door because I'm going to put that up first or at least tack it in place first and then I'll frame everything else around that. So we'll get started on that. Okay, I'll look through all the paperwork and this thing needs to be 36 inches wide by 81 inches from the top to the bottom in the opening. So what I did is I cut these boards and I cut them, they're about six inches too long going down to where these boards here are going to sit down on the ground just to help stabilize them. So I'll come in and I'll screw these in here and here, here and here, and then I put a little threshold right here. I'll show you that in just a second. And then I just got this cross piece up here. So this is 36 inches wide. I've got two marks on here to make it 81 inches. So when I line these marks up and screw those in, then these things will be, should be 81 inches tall, 36 inches wide. And I'll show you this in a minute. I went ahead and put one of these cross braces up. I don't think in the camera you can see it attached at the top, but I'll show you how I do those in a minute. But I put one of those up just to help hold this thing steady. And then plus the other thing I didn't say on this is this thing is centered in the middle of the greenhouse here. So I'll move the camera angle in and we'll go ahead and we'll attach this uh, frame down at the bottom. we we'll just probably just put one screw in. I may put two in there, but not put them all the way in. And that way, once I get that in, I want to make sure that this thing is square so my door hangs right. So once I get this thing, I got it good and square, I'll tack it down a little bit more. And then I'll go ahead and hang the door in it just to make sure that my door opens and closes right before I connect it to everything else to make it really solid. Okay, so I'm gonna run two four inch screws through right here, and then I'll probably put another two and a half inch screw through on this side right here. So all I gotta do, I've got my 81 inch mark down there, go ahead and lift it up. And see right here, I got an 81 and a half inch or my 81 inch mark. So I'm gonna bring that down where it's just flat back. That looks good. So just keep it tied up against that board there. Okay, trying to let it move. So I'm pre-drilling on this too, because when I'm going into these four inch screws, I don't want to split my two by four on the side. Okay. So I'm using four inch coated deck screws here. Okay, so I've got this side here now, and I'm just gonna hold it up tight against this board. Oh, that's all right. I had my clamp on there, my clamp popped off. So you're gonna have to kind of twist it like that a little bit. Twist it that way. Yeah, and then come up until I can see the line. A little bit more, a little bit more. Right there, perfect, hold it. So I'm going to set a four inch screw in that one. Okay. So what I've done now, I got this thing screwed in, one screw on each side, and then I took some C clamps and I attached the C clamp here and here, holding onto this brace that's going up to the top bow. And I went ahead and put one screw in it right here just to hold it up tight against this board. And my intention was I should have been able to, this is not attached tight at the top up here. I know you can't see that. I'll show it to you in a second, but I can make adjustments on this to turn this thing one way or another to square it up. But I put my square on it. And when I cinched it up to this board here, 
it made it pretty dang square. I don't think I could ever get it any closer than what it is. So it's square, I put it square in all four corners. It's square, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up on the top and then I'll tighten that thing down. And then I can go ahead and screw this to this. And then I'll put the other one of these up on the other side and I'll show you how I attached it to the bow. Okay, so here I am up at the top. And these are just some brackets right here and I'll show you putting one on in a minute. I just got this little bracket and it goes over the two by four. It's nailed in from each side. And then it just has a brace band that connects through the top of it. So now I know I got this one where I want it. I've got it cinched down at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and snug this one down right where it is. So that's not going anywhere now. I'll double check and re re make sure that this thing is still square. If that's the case, then I'll go ahead and screw this one down to the baseboard, take the clamps off, and then put the other one on the other side, then I'll be ready to hang the door. Okay, so I'll put the level back on this thing. I'm sorry, not the level, put the square back on it. I'm still nice and square in that corner. I'm still nice and square in that corner. And I'm actually I don't know if I'm lucky or good, but I am perfectly level with that board right there too. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this one down, cinch all this stuff down good. And then I'll show you how I built these, the tops of these, how I attach those connectors on there. And then we'll put the other connector and hang the one on this side. And then we'll be ready to do the other. I got one more post going up on each side of this and I'm gonna do some cross braces. Okay, I was going to show you these brackets real quick and how I mount those. So all it is, just a little bracket that's designed to go over the end of a 2x4 like that. And then it's got this hole right here that mounts with a brace band. I'll show you that once I get this one mounted on here. So pretty basic. Just take them and line them up in the center of the 2x4. And then I got just, I think I use 6D nails. I just put two 6D nails in there. Line it back up, and there's two holes on each side. And just flip it over. The only thing, these things are, they're actually a little too narrow, so you really kind of got to really force them in there. And I bought some lag bolts once i get everything up i'm gonna see what it feels like and i may come back and drill out a hole right here and put a lag bolt in on each side but i really think they're they're pretty dang stout so there that thing is mounted so then i'll just run my bolt here i'll run one through there real quick for you so you have your brace band here so you just run your bolt through the brace band, through the bracket, and then out the other side of the brace band. And then this attaches to the to the bow. And the edge of the bow, the edge of the bow and this end up being flush. So when you're this board will be flush with the edge of your bow. So when you put your plastic and stuff on, everything will line up good. Okay, so I've got this thing clamped up against my board pretty much in position where it needs to be now. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this clamp off, put the brace band back around, 
over the uh, top of the bow. Not to keep from dropping anything again. And so just spread the brace band out a little bit. Get it down over the bow. Give it a good squeeze again. Now, you can see this one is a little bit shorter, but that's the whole thing is it doesn't really matter. I just slide it up a little. Hopefully my clamp won't pop off. It just won't be touching completely on the ground, but I can backfill underneath that. Got that through there. Should have brought pliers to squeeze that down a little bit more. I can just get it started though. I can suck it down a little. There we go. So I'm going to fall back down and put my level on this thing and make sure I got this thing hanging straight because I don't want this to be here when it should be here. So the only way I can really do that is to let it hang free again. I'm going to snug it down just a little bit more and then I can do some adjusting on it. So let me crawl down and put the level on it. Just need to scoot it up. That looks pretty good from right here. Let me check it one more time. Okay, that's perfect right there. So all I want to do now is just cinch it down where it's at. I hold my thumb on here. I'm sure it doesn't move any on me. Again, I'm putting. Make sure you put your your uh, nut side of the bolt to the inside, so it's not going to poke into your plastic. Okay, that's good and cinched down now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clamp this thing just like I did on the other side. I'm going to clamp it on two or three spots. Then I'm going to check the square inside my frame one more time just to make sure it's still right. Okay, so now I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to clamp it down just like I did on the other side. And this, all that's going to do is just simulate what it's going to be like when it's nailed in to make sure it doesn't change the, <clears throat> the squareness of my frame. So that's going to be no different than I, I had this thing all screwed together. So I'll get my uh, level, my level back on it. Still looks perfectly level. Get my frame in square. Put that back in here. It looks square everywhere, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to bother you with this, but I'll put two more four-inch screws down here through the baseboard into this belt, this board, and then I'll screw these boards together all the way up, and then the actual frame part for the door will be done. Okay, so I've got my door frame up. So now I'm just going to put my next post up, and I'm splitting it in between the door frame and the end post on the greenhouse. I've already measured this, it's 49 inches, so I divided that by half. So my middle point, and then I took off three quarters of an inch, which is half of the width of a two by four. So that left me three, 23 and three quarters of an inch. So I'll make a mark at 23 and three quarters. Take my little speed square and make a line there. And I'll put an X over here. That means that's my board goes on that side of the line. So this will be the inside edge my next board so i'm going to get another board set up and i'm going to have to cut these next ones uh so we'll kind of show you how i go about doing that okay so what i'm going to do here i've got another 10 foot board i'm just going to kind of eye this in 
on that mark. And I'm just gonna, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect because I have some fudge room down at the bottom on how far down I let it hang before I screw it in. But that's pretty close right there. So I'm just gonna make a mark right here, which is where my bow is. And then I'll just calculate. You know what I'll do? I'll take that back. I got my board is, I'm just measuring that off my pin here. Is that far below the bow where it attaches? So I'll just make a mark right there and that'll be perfect. It won't be perfect, but it'll be surely close enough. So I'll just make that cut there and then I'll put my bracket on this one and I'll be ready to mount this one on here. Okay, so I got this board cut now. Got my bracket mounted on the top. Get turned around right. So it should be right about there on the bottom. I got it lined up on my mark. And yeah, I think that's going to be okay. If I need to, I can dig out underneath that board a little bit to let it hang down. So I'm going to just make a guess on exactly where it needs to go. And I'll measure off the bottom, I'll measure off the top to get it lined up exactly right. So spread my brace band out. Pop it down over the greenhouse. Squeeze it down as much as I can. Okay. So get that lined up. Nut off a bolt. Run that bolt through there. Kind of tricky getting those things through there if you don't get that brace band squeezed down all the way. There we go. Do that by feel, get that thing started on there. Okay. I'm just gonna snug it down a little bit, not too tight or it won't still move until I know I got it lined up right. Okay, so now do some measuring. Okay, I got this board dug out underneath now where I have some room to move it up to the top. So I know I need to go back up top and move that one over a little bit because it was too narrow up here at the top. So I'm gonna climb back up on the ladder and I'll scoot that one down. Okay, so I did some adjusting up at the top and now I got 23 and three quarters up here and at the very top, 23 and three quarters at the bottom. So at that point, this one's still just hanging here. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and sink a four inch screw into that one and then this one will be set. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera because it's just the same thing, doing it on the other side. And then we'll come in and we'll start putting some cross bracing from over here to here and over on the other side too. Okay, we're almost there. So all I've got left here is to put my side braces in. And I went ahead and cut those off camera. And if you see right here, I've got Another one of these brackets, like what I attach these up here, attaching to the side, going across like this. And then I got one in here that I'll toenail in there. And I got the same thing going on on the other side. And I got two of them cut that are sitting up here that'll go about here. I think they're 90 inches off the ground. So I'll have all these braces to help stabilize this thing from side to side like that. Then the other thing that I did off of camera is I added a second board above my door frame. And that way I've got a double board on the sides, the top and over here. And the reason for that is I have to have a place to put this channel. And this is a channel that holds my greenhouse plastic on. So I'll run this channel up across there, back down across the bottoms. And then there'll be one going across the bows. And that's what'll hold my greenhouse plastic on on this side. My door frame's gonna cover most of this board. So then I need this board to put my channel on there. And the other reason too is I just, the double boards help stabilize the part where the door is going to go because it's going to be a lot of weight and you know open and closing and all that so i need that as stable as could be anyway so so anyway i'm going to time lapse through installing all the side braces and then we'll come back and take a look at it
Okay, so there's my end wall. It's all framed up, at least my door in. Uh, I'm not gonna do the door, install the door on the video. This video is gonna be really long as it is. And there's, I'm sure there's plenty of videos on how to install a screen door. It's not gonna be any different than putting it on your house or whatever, so that's gonna be relatively easy to do. So I'll do that off camera, but I did wanna show you something. I was hoping this thing would stabilize this thing going side to side. So I'm gonna walk down to the other end and just kind of shake the greenhouse and let you see that. Okay, so now I'm gonna shake this end up here at the exact same spot. It is way more stable and even, you can even see the back end shaking more than what the front end does. So once I get both ends of this framed up, that's gonna really stabilize this thing from side to side. So anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I gotta order more brackets. So it might be a little bit of time. I gotta wait for, I got I never short a couple brackets cause I didn't think about using these brackets when I ordered the brackets. So I'm short two and I need two extra down there. So I ordered four more. Uh, if you need, if you're ever looking for any of these parts that I use, message me on the, uh, on YouTube and, or just, you know, put a comment in there and I'll let you know where I got any of this stuff from. I'm not going to keep telling that over and over again, but if anybody's looking for it, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll tell you where I got that stuff from. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when new videos come out. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye.